All right, we're here today to show you the LiveScribe pen. It's actually a really cool recording device. This pen has a built-in um, device that will record up to 400 hours of audio from lectures, meetings, or anywhere else you would like to take notes traditionally. Um, students are using these in classes. Lawyers are using them in depositions and HOAs are even using them to keep digital minutes. It's really a cool device and I wish I had one when I was in high school. But um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's about the size of any normal like fountain pen that you would see. Um, and on the screen here, you can go ahead and turn on the LiveScribe pen by pushing this little button right here. And it'll show you that it's starting. And I'll show you the time. You may not be able to see it very well. This is 8.22 a.m. Now when you get a LiveScribe book, it'll have this little section right here um, that rips open. And it says tap here before use. And when you tap here, it, the this pen will automatically know. Active on your smart pen. Please archive it in LiveScribe desktop before using this new notebook. So whenever you get a new notebook, you tap there, and the LiveScribe pen will automatically know that this particular notebook, um, but it will know this one from any other notebook. When you open it, you'll see that there are um, some different features like a calculator, scientific calculator. Um, and you can even control the settings right here. And you can see the status of your pen using this section. Um, so if we were going to use the calculator, you would just tap on like 9 plus 9 equals. And as you're, ty as you're typing it in, um, it'll actually show it on the screen and it'll automatically show you what it equals, which obviously is 18. And then you can clear it. Um, if you want to adjust the volume down here at the bottom, you can click on up, and it'll get louder, or you can see it going down, or mute it even. But we'll turn it all the way up so you can hear it. The cradle will work as well for navigating, um, and when you click on any particular section, it'll tell you what you're looking at. Main menu, and then you can move with, through the menu by tapping on different parts of paper replay piano navigation translator demo settings now um, the cradle you can see fits the pen it's got this little section here which will fit like a magnet it'll stick to it and at the end of it it's got a USB port which you can plug into your computer for uploading um, your notes themselves like a picture of your actual notes or just the audio itself. Um, at the end of the LiveScribe pen right here, it's got a little plug where you can use the headphones that come with it and just plug it in and listen to it if you don't want everyone else to hear what's going on. A couple weeks ago we interviewed Trevor Thomas. Um, he's a blind hiker um, and for our interview, which is about an hour long, um, we recorded notes and we're just going to show you how this works. So um, as as you're listening to a lecture or an interview or anything else that you might want to take notes on, um, you just continue writing. And the LiveScribe pen, underneath um, where the actual pen is, you can see this little screen. It takes a shot of the little micro dots on this paper and will know automatically where you are. So as you're writing, um, it knows exactly where you are. So if you want to go back, you just click on whatever word. And it'll automatically start playing what you're listening to at that time. And down at the bottom of every page, um, you can jump to a particular position um, in the recording. So this one's an hour long, so if I want to go halfway through, just click the halfway point. You can also change the playback speed. Um, you can make it go slower. Or back to normal. Or you can speed it up. And again, you can change the volume here. And on the other side of the page, um, you can actually bookmark particular positions in your recording. Um, you can jump ahead maybe 15 to 20 seconds um, each time you click it. And then you can record, pause, and stop. So pause, stop. Um, we're not going to worry about recording now. And it also has navigation right there for main menu and whatnot. Um, 
So as you're going through, uh, you have like a full page of notes. Let's say you want to listen to this particular section again because your handwriting is terrible or you just didn't get everything that you needed. You can just listen to it. And skip ahead. Anywhere you go, it'll just automatically start from wherever it what was being said at the time that you wrote that particular note. Now, like I said, this recording is an hour long, um, but it's a separate recording from other things that were going on when we recorded over here. Um, so if I want to click over here, it'll go to the other recording as well. You don't have to switch recordings. It'll just automatically know. Um, as you can tell from the bottom page here, we were using it a lot, um, and the record, pause, jump has a lot of little markings over it um, from our pen, because every time you tap it, some ink will get on the page. So um, the LiveScribe pen actually comes with, um, comes with different colors, but it also comes with a stylus end. This part right here is removable, and you can just put a stylus in there that doesn't have any ink so that you're not marking up your pages if you're just going back to review your notes. And on the back of this, these notebooks, it also has a keyboard um, so that you can like type in particular settings in your live scribe. It has other characters down here, modifiers like um, asterisks and whatnot, and then a number pad.